In this video, we are going to look at the dynamics of a water column in a tank. So here we have a tank. There is an inlet and there is an outlet. The area of the tank is A. The height of the water column above the center line of the outlet is H. So based on this, we can write an equation for the mass of the water column m equal to rho h a h times a is the volume volume times the density rho is the mass now q i is the inflow volume rate q naught is the outflow volume rate based on these two quantities we can write an equation for the rate of change of mass of the water column. So this is essentially a mass balance equation. So what flows out minus what flows in is what accumulates inside the tank. Very simple. So rho times qi minus q0. qi minus q0 is the net volume accumulation rate multiplied by rho the density gives the mass accumulation rate what is the mass accumulation rate is the derivative of mass when we do m dot we get rho h dot a now when you differentiate m with respect to time rho and a are constant only h is varying with respect to time therefore we have only h dot so we can write an equation for h dot as q i minus q naught divided by a now let's look at the orifice here. The outflow rate is Q0. PI is the pressure at the center line. P0 is the pressure outside. Now for an orifice, there's an equation that relates the mass flow rate through the orifice to the pressure differential. What is the pressure differential? It is PI minus P0 pressure at the high side minus pressure at the lower side so m dot equal to rho q naught or q uh, q naught so q naught is the outflow volume rate outflow volume rate times the density is the outflow mass flow rate equal to delta p which is a pressure differential to the power of 1 by alpha divided by r alpha is a parameter equal to 1 for laminar flow equal to 2 for turbulent flow. Most of the time this flow is turbulent flow. You can write delta P as PI minus P naught. Now PI or P naught is atmospheric. PI is the pressure at this point plus pressure due to water, water column. So that is atmospheric plus rho g h. g is the acceleration due to gravity obviously. Now let's look at all these equations. There you have the dynamics of the height, first equation. Second equation is the um, mass outflow rate equation. That's outside pressure equal to P naught equal to P atmospheric. The inside pressure, which is PI equal to PA plus rho GH. Substituting three and four in two, we can write an equation for q naught as rho q naught equal to rho g h to the power of 1 by alpha divided by r. And finally, substituting 5 in 1, I can write h dot equal to q i minus rho g h to the power of 1 by divided by alpha divided by rho r divided by a. Notice that uh, this is a nonlinear dynamic equation. When alpha equal to 1, this becomes a linear equation. For all of the values of alpha, this is a nonlinear equation. Now, R here, which I have not mentioned earlier, is the resistance of the orifice. This is the end of the lecture. We will look at uh, simulating this equation in Simulink next.